Before I start today, I want you to look at a picture and answer one question. Do you see the picture clearly? Okay, now tell me which umbrella do you see? Is it the yellow umbrella? I bet everyone will see the yellow umbrella first because it is recognizable. This picture is nothing but a market. The umbrella in this picture are the products available in the market. The yellow umbrella is a branded product whereas the black umbrellas are non-branded products. In a market with infinite product options, we always notice the products which look different from other products. This entire concept of differentiating your product from a similar type of products of your competitors is known as branding. How you create your brand is your branding strategy. Branding may be of anything like people, business, product, service, land or religion. Today I am going to share with you 5 steps involved in developing your own branding strategy. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello, this is Anona Banerjee and you are watching my channel You and Impact. Running your business without a branding strategy is similar to showcasing a body without a face. A face helps your audience to connect with your values and the core values of your brand is your business. The digital revolution has made the process of brand building easier and cost effective. Research says 71% of consumers are more likely to buy from a brand they follow on digital media. Okay, let me now elaborate the steps involved in the branding process. Number 1. Market Research Before everything, ask yourself why your product or service should exist. What kind of problem is going to be solved by it? You need to study which group of people is facing a similar kind of problem that can be solved using your product or service. You have to observe how they are solving the problem at present. Are there any competitors that address similar kind of problem of these people? If there are, how your competitors are coming up with the solution to this problem? All this primary investigation will help you to find your position to fit in this competitive environment. Foundation of your branding strategy should be based on this data. Number 2. Brand Positioning The next step of your branding strategy is how you want your consumers to feel about your brand. The success of a brand depends on how it is being perceived regardless of whether it's a startup, a non-profit, a product or a person. A thoughtful positioning strategy can create new opportunities in an oversaturated market. A brand becomes stronger when you narrow the focus. Your market research data will help you to find your target group of people. You have to position your brand in your consumer's mind differently than your competitors. Only being different is not enough. Your brand needs to demonstrate the difference so that consumer can understand the difference easily. To develop a strong brand, you need to own a specific word that no one else is associated with. For example, prestige is to Mercedes, safety is to Volvo. See how beautifully they have monopolized a specific segment of a highly competitive car market using branding principles. I would like to give you some examples of positioning in personal branding. See how they have differentiated themselves in their own competitive area and became a popular name. Fashion designer Shobhoshachi Mukherjee is known for his use of traditional Indian textiles in the international fashion world. Beauty expert Padmasri Shahnaz Hussain is known for her herbal beauty care movement who took Indian herbal heritage of Ayurveda to a global market. Eminent sitar player Bharat Ratna Pandit Robi Shankar is known for his contribution of redefining world music with the essence of Indian classical music. He presented centuries old Indian music in such a way that the jazz and rock lovers of the West became fond of Indian classical music. George Harrison of the Beatles called Panditji as the godfather of world music. Number 3. Brand Identity Design 90% of the information transmitted to a human brain is in the form of visuals. But a brand is an intangible asset, an emotional concept. 
So you have to design a visual identity of your brand, which is tangible and can appeal to the senses. It is the symbolic representation of the intangibles like emotion, feelings or essence. So brand identity is the face of a brand. Its design involves developing some visual assets like brand logo, a logo type with your brand name and tagline. You need to decide on a color scheme and typography to represent your brand. Brands usually use very few shades of color which is known as the brand color template. Colors are very important because each shade of a particular color represents a particular emotion. Red represents energy, power, passion, love. Blue represents loyalty, confidence, success, etc. Where yellow represents happiness, joy, warmth. Your brand consultant can help you to design your brand identity that can best reflect your brand values and create an emotional connection to your consumers. Number four brand touch points each of the brand touch points is an opportunity to build awareness and customer loyalty once you have finalized your brand identity design that means the logo tagline color theme and the typography you have to create touch points to communicate with your audience brand touch points include business card letterhead website email address social media profiles blog brochures business proposals photography style product packaging advertisements etc you should confirm that each of your brand touch points reflects the true essence of your brand to the consumers whenever you hire a professional or agency to develop your website brochures advertisements etc provide them with your brand design template so that they can keep the essence of your brand in every minute detail number five brand maintenance the brand building process does not end once business cards are printed with the logo and website link. Growing a brand really takes a long-term disciplined effort. Creating a brand identity design is rather the easier part, but its maintenance is harder. Here consistency is the key. Don't expect your branding strategy to show immediate results in days or months. It takes years to develop a successful brand. Regular social media updates in your compatible platforms should be done consistently to build brand awareness. Your brand website should be updated regularly with fresh content. You have to take every measure to be on the top of people's minds all the time. So you understand brand identity design or creating touch points may be the primary steps but only extensive sharing of them makes the difference. So I have shared the five steps of developing a brand strategy. Now you tell me how are you planning to implement these branding strategies in your business. Please write down in the comments below. Please like this video if it is helpful to you and share among your friends on social media WhatsApp groups so that it may help others as well. And if you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do it now. I will see you in the next video. Bye.